Okay, so looking through this problem, um, we are going to go ahead and we are being asked to maximize profit. So the very first thing I'm gonna look out for is do I have a profit equation? And what I'm gonna notice is that right here, this is not profit, that is revenue, right? Where R is revenue. So I say to myself, all right, how do I get profit? Well, profit equals revenue minus cost. So if I have the revenue function, I'm off to a good start, but now I need cost. I'm gonna search the problem again for looking for cost. And they say, oh, here we go. It costs us 17 cents in ingredients per taco and another $1 in labor. Okay, so what is my costs? So if it's seven, and it's again, the labor is labor capital per, per taco. So therefore, how much is it costing me to make a taco? Well, my cost, is 17 cents per taco where t is the number of tacos being made and also an additional one dollar per taco so those things going together and i could use function notation c of t would be one dollar and 17 cents per taco so now i have a cost equation whoops i should do that in blue to can't keep it color coded i have a cost equation and i have a revenue equation so we're going to go ahead and fill that in here so i have profit so profit equals negative 0 0.000 that's three zeros seven t squared plus 4.6 t plus 10,000. that's my revenue Right, this equation right here is my revenue equation. And now I need to subtract my cost equation. And my cost equation was 1.17t. And of course, if that was more complicated, we want to be very careful with that, those parentheses to make sure that subtraction side would, would distribute. So with this particular problem, it's not going to matter because there's no adding or subtracting in my cost equation up here. But if, if it were, if there were adding or subtracting, we want to be very careful. So now before I get started, I feel like I, I would like to combine some like terms. Um, I notice I have 4.6t and I could subtract 1.17 from that. Um, so I'm going to cheat just to make sure I don't mess this up on the, on the uh, video. I'm going to go to my calculator. So 4.6 minus 1.17 gives us 3.43. Okay. So that's going to give us negative uh, 0.0007t squared plus, and I already forgot what my number was, 3.43. Uh, okay, 3.43t. Let me get rid of that little stray. 3.43t plus 10,000. And now we have a profit equation that we can work with. So now let's go ahead and say, right, to max maximize the profit that means that's code word of calculus for derivative so we're going to go ahead and take the derivative and so this is a power rule so even though we got this huge decimal in the front we say we don't care so it's just a constant so we're going to take our our two out to the front and multiply and so that's going to give us 0014t plus now the derivative of 3.43t the t becomes just one so that's going to leave us with 3.43 and the 10,000 the derivative of that would be zero. So now we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. We're going to say, okay, we know we want our derivative to be equal to zero because that's where we have a min or a max. Now we're going to go ahead and subtract 3.4 to both sides. Just solving for t. We're going to go ahead and divide by negative 0 0.0014 to both sides. And that's gonna result in T equals, and this is where we definitely need our calculator. Make sure those, those, all those zeros are accounted for correctly. That can cause issues. Well, it's, it's technically a negative and a negative, so that would divide to make a positive, so that's why I'm leaving it off on the calculator. If you're looking at that saying, why, why didn't he type negative? Well, I'm doing that I'm accounting for that in my head. Okay, so we got 2,450. So therefore we have 2,450. So therefore T equals 2,450. So make sure you now go back and read the problem. Is it asking us for the number of tacos that will maximize the profit or the actual profit? So when we go back here and read again, the problem specifically says 
how many tacos should they make to maximize the profit? So this is literally just looking for number of tacos. So the answer to this would be 2,450 tacos. All right, hope that helps.